What's going on? This is your boy Quay Sean Bro, and I am 26 years old. I'm a fashion designer, and I'm the one hand sewing man. Like, why I'm the one hand sewing man? Because I'm a man that sews with one hand. Like, no, literally, like, I sew with one hand. I cut and sew all my garments with one hand. Having, uh, you know, having my arm to be in the way that it is, uh, I used to look at it as a curse. Because it was always the focal point of my life. Everywhere I go, people always see me, you know, I got teased and bullied for it in school, you know, and there was a reason that caused a lot of my heartache and pain. Fashion period just made me feel I had a place, like I had a say in, in my life and I was able to create something and people appreciated that because, again, you know, growing up and honestly suffering with this injury, I appreciate it now. But growing up, I, I didn't. So, like, my mindset wasn't the way it is right now. So, like, I was just always dealing with that. Like, you know, like, what what am I going to do? Like, I've never seen nobody do anything that was like me. I don't know what I'm going to do. Who's going to like me? Who's going to do, you know, who's going to see me and not just think about my arm? Yeah, it was definitely n not a normal life being Quayshawn <laughs> in Trenton, New Jersey. Being on Project Runway would, first and foremost, um, be a challenge. You know, to for anybody, a challenge is, is always needed to grow. And I know I'll grow as a designer, being on Project Runway, I'll be able to be around other people who have the same passion I have. Fashion is the gateway to my happiness. I already create for everyone. And I want everyone around the world to have the mannequin experience. Like, I want everyone to feel beautiful. I want them to have access to uniquely crafted pieces. I got into fashion in my teenage years. It was end of junior year, going into high school. When you're in that era of junior high, you get exposed to, you know, you get exposed to the real. Like, I went from elementary school from sixth grade all up straight to seventh grade to a zoo. What I thought was considered a zoo, aka junior high. I went off to college. And for my first year, believe it or not, I went as an electronic engineer major and I found out that that was absolutely not where I wanted to be. So I returned home and went to a community college. I joined the fashion program and I produced my very own fashion show here in Trenton, New Jersey. It was in 2009. We had a packed house and that's where I got into the creative field of designing. Started creating eyewear and you know, just funky glasses that were inspired by Lady Gaga. From there, I went to shoe designing, where I just took random shoes and like redesigned them with fabrics, um, painted on shoes and painted on jackets. You know, I just was a DIY kind of a guy. It was all organic and it was all making a lot of sense and it was creating a big buzz for, for me in my hometown. From there, I uh, got into apparel. Of, of course, when you're in the world of fashion, you're always expanding and um, I wanted to expand because, again, fashion was my lifesaver. I really look at it as a lifesaver. I was doing something that was a two-handed job. Like, everything that I've ever learned was with two hands, so I had to take the instructions from teachers, YouTube, tutorials, whatever I needed to do to sew. I had to take it and learn it all over again with one hand. Those are things I never really paid attention to until I started to accept myself further, like, into my adult life. They're really like, yo, you made this with one arm and I'm like yeah you know like it took like maybe like five needles so when I started to honestly pay attention to what I was doing and how the fact that um, something that I didn't even pay I didn't even care for my body like my arm was the exact reason why people appreciated the things that I did and supported me the way that they did and sent messages till this day and emails about how the things that I do and I post on my social media how it inspires them how it you know keeps keeps them you know they they live through me they call me the Arab spirit animals they call me all kinds of different amazing things for that reason right there is the reason why um i have to make sure that i continue to do the things that i love to do which is fashion and which is to be in the designer which is making someone feel beautiful about who they are and i know that my story will be a lifesaver to someone else because the story is still a lifesaver to me. Whenever I'm in the darkest times, I can always reflect on who I really am and really take it in and appreciate the fact that I'm still here. I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm sitting here talking to Project Runway, which is so awesome. And um, yeah, Project Runway, y'all better get ready because I'm coming. I'm ready to slay.